This morning we're going to be tying a classic uh, called the Copper John. Got a 3761 in the hook, uh, match the, the size uh, to the bead, uh, tungsten bead to help get that thing down there extra quick. Taking my 6 uh uni thread clear on back to the bend. Uh, and I'm right now I'm going to cut off two pieces of goose by it for the tail. And typically what I'll do is cross them in my fingers and kind of get the, uh, the, the split that I'm looking for, making sure that they're even. Switch hands. Go ahead and wrap that clear on down the hook shank there. So tying them both in at the same time rather than one at a time. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, just save yourself a whole bunch of worries. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to spend a second or two winding some thread on here to help build up this tapered body. Uh, the wire itself uh, uh, would pre present a, a kind of a flatter body, but what we're looking for is kind of that classic cigar-shaped uh, taper from from tail to shoulder. Build up that a little bit. Try to make a nice smooth transition there. And then I'm going to cut myself off about five, six inches of brassy size copper wire. I'll lay that down the shank. one wrap next to the last all the way up to the shoulder and this is brassy size but you could adjust the size of the wire for the to the size of the bug you're tying yeah, yeah. swapped out there, got it on my hackle pliers just to make that a little bit easier when the wire gets on the skinny side. Remember, don't pull too hard. I'll back my thread up just a bit so I can help tie that piece of copper in. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take a piece of turkey quill. This will be the uh, uh, wing case here. Brighter side of that feather tied down towards the hook shank and that way when you flip it over you've got a little bit better coloration. Spend another second here kind of just helping build up that uh, front end a little tiny bit. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take about six strands of peacock curl. I like to trim off my tips just to give myself a nice even playing field. Just give those a little bit of a twist. Build up a nice shoulder, thorax snip off the excess. I've got a uh, India henback hackle here that I've prepped by pulling the, the downy feather off and then preparing it in a classic wet fly manner. Get a wrap or two of that.
clear the hackles out there just a teeny tiny bit. Pull our wing case over. Expose that awesome mottled appearance there. At this point in time, the fly is more or less complete, but we do have one more step. Kind of a one of the things about tying copper johns has always been that that wing case and the epoxy is kind of a it's a little bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, so we have a new product here called Clear Cure Goo. This is the fleck version, so it's got a kind of a sparkly finish. Which kind of does the flashaboo. A lot of people would have tied a flashaboo bit in there, and this is kind of flashaboo and epoxy bead at the same at time. At the same time, that's But right. just super easy to use. That stuff is not drying. It is just on there until you hit it with the UV light. So there, that wing case is instantly built up. Wait for it. We're done. There's a completed copper john with a uh, uh, epoxy re epoxy replacement back in that clear goo. And you can see it kind of has a really cool pearlescent finish to it. Again, eliminating the need to tie in flashaboo, making the fly just you know one step easier. Uh, instant fish, and it's one of my favorites, and I hope it's one of yours too.